Here are some of the ways you can use Alio for financial applications. Decentralized exchanges. Alio can be used to build decentralized exchanges, DEXs, that allow users to trade cryptocurrencies without having to trust a third party. This is because the data and computations on the DEX are hidden from public view, making it impossible for anyone to track or manipulate the trades. Lending platforms. Alio can be used to build lending platforms that allow users to lend and borrow money without having to worry about their financial information being exposed. This is because the data and computations on the lending platform are hidden from public view, making it impossible for lenders or borrowers to see each other's identities or financial information. Insurance products. Alio can be used to build insurance products that allow users to insure their assets without having to worry about their personal information being exposed. This is because the data and computations on the insurance product are hidden from public view, making it impossible for insurers to see the details of the assets being insured. Crowdfunding platforms. Alio can be used to build crowdfunding platforms that allow users to raise money for projects without having to worry about their financial information being exposed. This is because the data and computations on the crowdfunding platform are hidden from public view, making it impossible for anyone to track or manipulate the donations. Stock trading platforms. Alio can be used to build stock trading platforms that allow users to trade stocks without having to worry about their financial information being exposed. This is because the data and computations on the stock trading platform are hidden from public view, making it impossible for anyone to track or manipulate the trades. These are just a few of the ways you can use Alio for financial applications. As Alio continues to develop, we can expect to see even more innovative and privacy-preserving financial applications built on top of the platform.